Good morning, everyone. Uh, so I was reading an article this morning, CBC, I believe, uh, did an article on a company um, up in Calgary that collected a deposit and then did not do any work. Now, um, most people are not aware that in order for a contractor in the construction industry, and this includes businesses like landscaping, um, anything to do with uh, your personal dwelling, um, needs to actually be licensed to collect prepaid deposits from their customers. If they don't have that license, um, they are not allowed to take a deposit. Okay. Now, that's obviously, you know, what they're doing as, as business owners is protecting their ability to collect on the job. And, and I understand that. And I also understand that the homeowner should also be protected. Um, nine times out of ten, it's going to be the homeowner not paying the business and not the other way around. But in this case, it was the business collecting the deposit, uh, not completing the work, and not returning the deposit. So, in order to collect a deposit from your customer, you must be registered with the Alberta government, and you can just Google. Alberta prepaid deposit contractor and it will be the first result that comes up in your Google search. Now, a way to get around that as a business and not to be licensed uh, because you got to pay a licensing fee, you got to have you got to put security up, you got to, you know, all that kind of stuff. In order to way to get around that, if you have materials that are in your that are in your job, they're going to cover, you know, usually materials are about half of what the actual cost of the project's going to be. And that's usually what people ask for. You know, and actually, in the case of this one, they're only, they're only asking for 30% upfront, um, which would hopefully be what the materials were um, for that job. So yeah, so get your materials. If you require a deposit, you can send your customer a list of those materials that you had to purchase and actually invoice for them. So you're not really technically taking a prepaid deposit. You are just uh, getting the customer to pay for the materials that are going into their home. Okay, um, I own a I own a landscaping company, and that is how we do it. So if we collect a deposit, which we like to do, um, we're not registered. But if we collect a deposit, it's always whatever the materials are going to cost us. That way, at least, if we put our own labor and everything else into it, we're not going to be losing the money that we actually paid for stuff. Okay, for materials. Um, and, and that's how we protect ourselves. And ever since we started doing that, it's been it's been good. Uh, accounts receivable is more manageable now than it, it, it was in the past. Um, it, it balloons quite quickly, especially for those beginning businesses that uh, need to learn their lessons on how to invoice and how to uh, collect, uh, which takes some time. Anyways, I hope that helps. <laughs> if you want any more detailed information on this, uh, just search the... Search Google for the Alberta prepaid deposits and you will find the PDF document uh, that walks you through the entire process and what the licensing fees are and the types of security that they take. So, um, yeah, I hope that helps. Take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of your friends, and be well.